Hi everyone, I've gotten a lot of requests for my makeup look, what makeup products I use, and because my everyday go-to makeup is pretty much the same, I decided to do this video for you. So this is the finished look. If you like this makeup look, then you'll enjoy the video. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell if you're interested. And we will start this video a little bit backwards. I did finish my face, but I couldn't find my lip liner, which I just found. So I will just apply that and show you. This is um, the Marc Jacobs and the color is Sugar High. And so I frequently use this with the Kitten Mischief lipstick that I mentioned at the end of this video. So this is the color of it. I'll just show you and I'll apply it. So that is truly the finished look. And now that it's finished, let's start at the beginning. Okay, so the question often starts with what I use for foundation. And unless it's a really special occasion, I don't use foundation. I use the Sunforgettable Total Protection by Color Science in the color medium. If I'm really pale, I mix this with um, the uh, sheer version of the Sun Better uh, tinted or the Sun Better lotion that isn't tinted or I just use that. So today I want a little bit more of a makeup look so I will use the Flex and of course this is after I've moisturized my face and I just apply that and bring it down the neck. I bring it down the neck just to blend it because it is, I didn't mix it today and it is slightly darker than my skin tone so I don't want to have a different color neck than my face. Okay, so once that's done, the one thing I can't live without is having eyebrows done. My go-to is the Taupe Pomade by uh, Anastasia of Beverly Hills and the MAC, this number's worn off, 200 and I think it's 200 or 260. It's just their angled uh, brush. And that's how I do my eyebrows. And then once they're done, I will just brush them out so they look more natural. And I use the, actually my old Anastasia brow pencil just to have the spoolie. And I just brush them out. That's it for eyebrows. When I'm doing my eyes, sometimes I will use a primer and I either use the Urban Decay or I have the MAC Paint Pots and this is Soft Ochre. So I will just use that as a base really quickly. Sometimes I don't use a base at all. It depends on if I have time or not. And then my most commonly used eyeshadow is Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Jean, and I really love this. It's just a really natural shimmer. And I actually, the brush I use for this, I bought at an art store. It's just a painter's brush. It's a synthetic flat brush, but you can use, I think flat brushes are better with creams, but of course you can use whatever you like. Once that's on, I let it dry just a little bit, not completely, and then I just blend the edges because it is a shimmery cream, so if the edge is uneven, it shows. And I take any sort of a fluffy brush, I have so many, this one is Morphe uh, 513, and you can use any neutral color. The one I most commonly use is this one, it's called Omega by MAC. I also like this warmer tone, which is called Wedge. That's this one, also by MAC. It really doesn't matter as long as you get just a, like a little bit of a shadow in the crease. And tap off the excess. I am a no makeup artist by any means. Um, there are so many incredible makeup artists on YouTube, so uh, if you see that I'm doing anything wrong, I probably am. But this is just a quick daily go-to. 
So for blush, I have a lot of blushes I really like. Um, I love the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso. This is really pretty, I'll just show you. It looks like that. It's a peach with a bit of a shimmer. I also love Mountain Walk by Lisa Eldridge, and it's the one I wear most commonly. It did come in a tube, but I transferred it to a little pot, and it looks like this. My favorite brush for any kind of a cream blush is the um, face shape brush. It's the 110 by Zoeva, and this is just such a great little brush for cheeks. Okay, to finish up the eyes, um, the MAC 10 is um, one I like to use just underneath. And again, I use those really light, neutral, just shadow shadows, shadow, shadow, shadow colored eyeshadows, just to give a little bit of a shadow underneath the eye. And the last thing I do is I go again with the MAC angled brush. And again, I can't read the number. I have two of them. So one I use for my eyebrows, and the other, this one's actually Zoeva 317, but it's the same thing. It's just an angled, angled brush. And I take a black eyeshadow, tap it off, and I just go in to tight line the eye, essentially the insertion of the eyelashes, but not from below, like you would tight line with a pencil, but from above. I have super straight lashes, so I always curl them. And this curler is by Shiseido, and I've had this for about 10 years or more, and the Shiseido curlers are my favorite. For mascara, um, I really like the Gucci mascara. This is just a really natural everyday. It's what I'll use today. And my favorite waterproof is actually by Essence and it's called Get Big Lashes. And it's great because it really makes my curled eyelash stay curled and looking up. And then there's a non-waterproof version as well. So I do really like those, but we're going with Gucci today for a more natural look. Almost done. Sometimes I tight line with a pencil, today I won't. And then my favorite go-to lip products are the Buxom Lip Gloss in Sandy. And my other two are Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I'm a huge fan of her products. So love of my life I sometimes wear and it's just this nice pink color. And the one I wear most frequently on my videos is this one and it's called Kitten Mischief. And I absolutely love this. And I can't find my lip liner for this right now, but I'll just quickly put it on to show you. It's a really natural lip look, which I love. I love the color. That's it. This is my quick everyday makeup and also the makeup I wear most frequently for my videos. I hope you found this video useful. I hope I answered the questions you had regarding my makeup look and I will see you guys in the next video.